We'll start with the 250 podium. Third place, Troy Lee Designs, Red Bull KTM, Jordan Smith. In second place on the Monster Energy Pro Circuit Kawasaki, Joey Savachi. And the winner on the Rockstar Energy Husqvarna Racing Machine, Zach Osborne. Jordan, congratulations. Uh, take us through the fall. Alex Martin goes down and caught you up a little bit. Take us through that. Yeah, uh, we were all right there uh, with Zach and Joey, and uh, Alex had a little tip over there uh, about halfway through the race, and uh, I definitely got a little hung up with him and uh, let those guys get really far away, which was kind of a bummer. Um, I felt like I had the speed to run with those guys and challenge them a little bit tonight, but uh, just went the night, so we'll come back next week. Joey, congrats. Um, did you know early in the main event that that was Zach behind you and that did, did that affect you at all? Uh, no, I wasn't trying to focus on me. Um, but uh, yeah, you know, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't our best performance, but uh, you know, we're walking out of here and we've made some gains over the last couple of weeks, so we'll keep our head down and uh, keep it going. Zach, congrats on the win. Um, early in the main event, saw you go to the inside light after the whoops, Joey picked up on it, and then a few laps later, gave him a little bump. Did you know that that was a spot where you could make a pass, or was there other spots on the track that you thought you could? No, I, I kind of maybe gave that away too soon in the, in the race. I maybe should have just waited a couple times until I was closer and um, did it before I kind of showed my hand there. But um, I knew from the start, whenever he pulled the whole shot, it was going to be a, a tough race. and. Um, yeah, I just uh, kind of tried to bide my time and, and make it happen uh, when I did. And it's going to be, you know, um, tough all the way to the, chairman, to, the, to the last lap in Vegas. So I'm, I'm happy to pull off a win tonight. All right. Hey, guys. It's Michael Antonovich with Transworld Motocross. So we've switched to the time format this year. It's been 15 minutes at every one, so that's not a change. But because tonight's track was sh so short, you ended up doing a 20-lap main event, which is quite a bit considering what you're used to. Was it easy to get caught up and maybe forget or lose focus out there or was it fairly easy because it's 15 minutes and it doesn't matter? This is for all three of you. I felt like, you know, I mean, the we're just pretty much pushing the whole time out there and, uh, you know, whether it's 15 minutes or 15 laps, you're pretty much going to the checkered flag anyways. You know, uh, we caught up to a lot of lappers and that was kind of sketchy. Uh, I felt like a lot of them were, you know, I came in contact with a couple of people that went down in front of me. So uh, I think I thought the lappers were the toughest part. For me, just like uh, like he said, uh, it doesn't matter what it is we're racing until the checkered flag. I don't think I saw the time until I did look at the board to see the laps one time, and I realized that it wasn't there anymore. But um, one time off the one triple going towards the finish line, I looked over and I think there was like three minutes left, which, you know, that's already almost 15 laps. So, um, yeah, I mean, it is what it is. We practice those, those distances. So, um, yeah, either way. I think it's pretty easy to get get adapted to it. Like you said, it's, it's time. You know, it's the same every weekend. Obviously, the laps vary and, and the track changes, but uh, it's 15 minutes plus one lap. And I think it's pretty easy, you know, to adapt to. It's, uh, it's pretty straightforward. It's 15 minutes, so it's not too bad. Steve Guyberson from Vital MX. Um, we saw a little bit of full contact in the main. It looked like also in practice. Is Did the track kind of force that, or...? Is it that time of the season? Who is that? Who is that directed to? <laughs> Whoever wants to answer. <laughs> I mean, I was, yeah, there was contact in practice and in the main event. Um, you know, I think if uh, that's what it's coming down to, then for sure uh, I'm game. And you know, it's it is what it is. Got to make the pass happen one way or another. So if that's uh, if that's how you got to get it done, then that's what uh, that's what we'll do moving forward. Yeah, I think uh, everyone's going pretty fast right now, and the tracks have been really tough to pass on, I feel like, this year, um, more so than the, my first two years pro. And uh, it's definitely made for more aggressive racing, I think, that everyone's going so, so close to the same speed. I think just the level is high right now, and, uh, you know, it's 
it's tough to make a pass. It's it's hard to when you're all doing the same thing every time and and there's a small opening, you have to take it. I mean, it's just it's racing and um, yeah. Jim Kimball, motocross action. Um, Jordan, you kind of touched on this. When you got into third, the leaders were pretty far ahead, yet you had a big gap over fourth. When you're in that type of spot, um, when you are got a big gap ahead of you and behind you, is it difficult to kind of maintain your focus, or, or what do you do to keep that going? Yeah, it's definitely pretty difficult in that situation to, to keep the focus. I try to keep pushing there for, you know, the first few laps after. Uh, after Alex and I got together and then, you know, I couldn't even really see them on the straightaway even coming back the other way. So uh, I knew that, you know, it was going to take a mistake by one of those guys for me to be able to get them. So I just kind of settled in. And once we got into the lappers, I just tried to, you know, focus on hitting my marks and, you know, focus ahead on the track and, and be aware for anything that the lappers were going to be doing in front of me. Uh, Chase Dell, Racer X. Uh, I think you guys lapped up to like eighth. Was it tough to find a rhythm out there? I I didn't actually feel like the lappers were that bad tonight. Um, there's been other times where it was worse. I felt like they were more strung out than normal. Like, uh, you know, we weren't coming up on like clumps of them. So I didn't really notice it as much as, as what I would normally, I, I don't think. That was for all three. Oh, I mean, <clears throat> I, didn't, I didn't think they were terrible. There was obviously times where they uh, they had definitely affect the flow and, you know, not intentionally get in the way, but, you know, you, you have your line that you take every lap, and if they end up in, in your line, you kind of got to change it up a little bit. But there definitely was a little bit of carnage. There was uh, that crash on the on-on off section, and that was kind of gnarly. But, uh, I mean, all in all, for me personally, yeah, I struggled to find the flow a little bit, kind of didn't let the track come to me quick enough. and. You know, that's something that we'll, uh, we'll learn and build on and adapt to it and make it better. Yeah, I, uh, I felt like it wasn't so much trying to pass the lappers. It was more the lappers being down. And uh, there was, like, just crashes in the whoops. And like they said, on the on-on section. And on the last lap, a lapper landed in the bells in front of me and then got cross in the next turn. So, you know, I just I had a, a pretty decent gap on fourth. And I just tried to kind of cruise it in. Chris and Slack Motocross uh, Performance Magazine. Uh, for all three of you guys, there was a lot of, you kind of touched on a lot of carnage tonight and with, with lappers in front of you and, and behind you. Did any particular section of the track that you really felt was more of a struggle than, than the rest of it? I just think like when it gets rutted, um, it's hard to be really, really decisive. And oftentimes like you get in a rut and you think you're gonna go straight and it, pulls you one way or the other just kind of out of nowhere so I think it's it's easy to get into the tough blocks and uh yeah like in, my, in our heat race there was crashes everywhere I felt like the yellow flags were out the whole the whole race so it's um you just have to kind of bide your time and like Joey said there was that one big crash uh in the main rhythm section like in the middle of our main and it was right in front of us and that was pretty pretty hairy as well but it's just um something you got to watch for I guess yeah, I didn't think really any one section was um, worse than any other. The whole track was pretty rutted, but, uh, you know, Indy, the, we kind of expect that coming here. Uh, my rookie year, it was very rutted, and uh, it wasn't too bad tonight, but uh, it definitely, you know, you got to be on your toes out there for sure. I think as everyone else said, you know, when the ruts get get gnarly, it uh, can come up and bite you without you even knowing. So I don't think there was anything too – gnarly other than the ruts you know being unpredictable sometimes sometimes you get through good and sometimes they grab the pegs and slow you down so i think that was the hardest thing all right thanks guys see you in detroit thank you